folks. Today I want to talk about air filters. This is the time of year a lot of us are doing maintenance, it's spring cleaning time. You know, it's very important that you change your filters, but it's also very important that you understand what type of filter you're getting. Because some people seem to put filters in that restrict airflow, and some people put in filters that don't restrict enough airflow that don't pick up particles of dirt that goes into your coil. So you got to be real careful about that. So I want to demonstrate a couple things real quick here. The average filter that most people buy is this fiberglass filter. This filter is probably a MERV 3 or 4. And this is probably the cheapest filter that you can buy. And everybody thinks, well, this will do the job. I want to point out something to you. Look at this, guys. This is dust and dirt going through your AC system. See how it's pouring through there? Look at this. This pours right through. This, this type of debris will go right through this filter into the coil and it will clog it up. Next thing you know, their AC system is getting dirty. It will cause it to freeze up. It will cause the motor not to work well. And sometimes people say, hey, well my filter came with the unit. And this is perfect. This is what I'll use. These filters here are just what the manufacturer provides because by code you have to have a filter on your system. Okay, so this is better than nothing, but it's close to nothing, okay? One thing I recommend people do is use a better filter. Here's your average filter box, and the brand doesn't matter, but the average AC system can handle MERV 8. MERV stands for Minimum Efficiency Recording Value, and the higher the MERV rating, the more particles and dust it pulls out, the more hair, the more allergens. This is a MERV 8 filter. Okay, now if you look at the MERV-8 filter, it has an arrow on it, and that's the direction of the airflow. See how nice and pretty this is on this side? I want you to notice the screen wire on this side. It actually holds the particulates as it's going through. Over time, this will get restricted, okay? When these start getting restricted, like this is just an example. When they start getting restricted, that looks like this. They will actually cause your AC system to struggle, and it'll, it'll, it'll make a noise, a real hard sucking noise. And it can, when these start clogging up with all the dirt and debris, it can cause the coils to freeze up. It can cause the indoor motor to labor, and the house itself won't seem cool. I have gotten 100 phone calls. Oh, David, my AC is not cool, and it's not cool, and I go over there. I pull out a filter, it looks like this. I say, well, man, when's the last time you changed your filter? Oh, I just changed it a month ago. Well, that's the problem. We don't remember changing it six months ago, so I always tell my customers, put a date on your filter, okay? Because, honestly, time just flies by, and you don't know how long your filter's been in there, and next thing you know, you got issues. When you use this type of filter, you sometimes you have to have multiple returns, okay? You should usually have a main return in your living room, and you should have returns in your bedrooms because what happens as the airflow starts restricting going through these filters, you've only got one, you're going to have a problem. But if you've got multiple returns, it'll, it'll, it'll give you a little bit of grace, okay? You'll be able to handle it a lot better. So what I want to point out to you is just go ahead Get a good filter, the best one you can get for your system. Don't overtax it. Change them often. I always tell my customers change the filter every time they get the electric bill, okay? These filters here you can probably change over two months. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you for watching.